Xi Jinping needs to stop. The Communist Party of China needs to stop. This is what the People's Liberation Army is thinking. And a mutiny is brewing. Amidst the global backlash against growing Chinese belligerence, the CCP's armed wing, the People's Liberation Army or the PLA, seems to have turned against the CCP itself. According to a latest Weon report, CCP General Secretary Xi Jinping is facing opposition from two PLA hawks, retired Major General Chao Liang and serving PLA Air Force Senior Colonel Dai Xu. Chao is a well-known name and is the author of a book called Unrestricted Warfare, in which he had laid down a game plan for making China a superpower. Interestingly, he had suggested exporting a virus to create a pandemic. But his latest message to Xi Jinping warns sternly against any plans to take Taiwan by force. In an interview, the retired PLA Major General said, China's ultimate goal is not the reunification of Taiwan, but to achieve the dream of national rejuvenation so that all of 1.4 billion Chinese people can have a good life. Could it be achieved by taking Taiwan back? Of course not. Chao has cited logistical reasons while warning against an aggressive move in Taiwan. He said, if Beijing wants to take Taiwan back by force, it will need to mobilize all its resources and power to do this. You shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, it's too costly. Chao understands PLA's limited capabilities due to engagement on multiple fronts, which is why he is warning against a move on Taiwan. The retired Chinese Major General feels that China's maritime routes at the South China Sea could get blocked in a likely reference to the Strait of Malacca. He has also warned that an aggressive move in Taiwan could prompt the US to declare war on China and Chao has also stated that Western sanctions could hurt China's economic development. Daishu seems even more critical about the CCP. He wrote an article titled 2020 four unexpected things and 10 new understandings about the United States. Xu has given a brutal reality check to the CCP about the American ability to inflict costs on China. Xu said the US would be so tough imposing stacked tariff increases of 30 billion, 50 billion and then 200 billion. He added, remember, the 30 billion in tariffs imposed on you will bring an effect of 60 billion, 90 billion or more. This is where Imperial America is truly powerful. We must be rational instead of angry and fight wisely. The PLA officer also feels that China has no friends left within the US. Xu wrote, It turns out that no one in the US Congress speaks out on behalf of China. The two parties of the US are surprisingly unanimous on a major trade policy which really hurts all Chinese people. Within the PLA, it is being understood that China has no friends left in the world due to CCP's hawkish attitude and its wolf warriors. Xu also echoes the same sentiment when he says, China has provided assistance to so many countries, benefiting them in so many ways. But at this critical moment, none of them has taken any unified action with China. The anger within the PLA is not very surprising. The top brass of the PLA has many reasons to be angry with the CCP. Top Chinese companies like Alibaba, Tencent, Huawei and many others have PLA links. Top Chinese generals enjoy a lot of influence over these companies. But today, Xi Jinping's wolf warrior diplomacy has invited outrage against all these companies. The US is making all attempts to push Huawei out of the world map. Similarly, many Chinese companies are on the radar of the Modi government in India for further action. PLA understands that these companies are losing out, not because of PLA links, but because Xi Jinping CCP is engaging countries like India, the US and Australia in endless battles. Moreover, the Gulman Valley bloodbath on June 15 this year was bound to trigger an outrage within the Chinese PLA sooner or later. Xi Jinping's Himalayan blunder got far too many PLA troops slaughtered. Within China, the PLA casualty figures were not released, nor were the dead given any military honours or memorial service. After the Galwan Valley bloodshed, Jian Li Yang, a Chinese dissident and the son of a former Chinese Communist Party leader wrote, 
Retired and hurt PLA veterans could form a force against the Chinese Communist Party regime. The CCP leadership cannot afford to undermine the veterans' potential to launch a collective and armed anti-regime action. The PLA is unhappy with Xi Jinping and there are growing signs of mutiny from the armed wing of the Chinese Communist Party.